Um, mostly, they should just stay out of it and focus on good education for people. You have to put that in context. I have fervent hopes for the future of humanity, but not for network technologies in particular. Well, no, I mean, I really think the question is what humanity wants to do for itself, and then network technologies can be very useful in doing those things. Yeah, I mean, again, I think the issue is people misusing technology. But I think the, the, per, the point of it is what people do with it, not the technology. Okay. I mean, it's sort of like saying, do I have huge hopes for the future of electricity? Well, yes, I hope people use electricity to run factories and light homes and not to you know, power computers being used by terrorists to destroy people. But it's... It's sort of, the technology is only an instrument of the people using it. I, th I think the big thing that's happening is the rollout of the internet, which started a long time ago, is going to continue, I think, a lot with cell phones to places where people don't and won't have computers for quite a while. But it's, there's not something new coming along that's not seen now. It's, it's a continuation and a much more broader uptake of basically the internet through computers and cell phones. More of an adoption cycle then? Yeah. The other big thing that's going to make a difference is that a lot more things are going to be part of the internet. They're going to be hooked in. They'll have sensors so that the internet was originally this thing apart that had no knowledge of the real world. And now the internet's going to be much more connected to actual things happening. Again, I think the thing that's going to influence most people's lives is communication technology one way or another, whether it's the internet or cell phones, their ability to stay in touch with people they want to be in touch with, and they're going to have to learn how to filter stuff out rather than define things. Well, the, if, if I'm allowed to do a sentence, I think sure. the real shift is a change in the balance of power that's created by individuals' ability to know stuff and to tell other people. And that really shifts. It erodes the power of big institutions, whether it's big media, big government, big business. And it gives each individual more power, but not that much more power over other people, but at least more power over their own lives.